what is the functionality will discuss madam configuration attribute what is configuration attribute where we can use this uh, configuration attribute mm -hmm. yes so generally we can use the attributes configuration attributes in the bundle level bundle product level okay madam so example what we can do is for example if i go to the it professional pack okay so here i want to put one uh, attribute madam okay so here i want to add a uh, one attribute so what is that attribute name for example so here i can write one attribute name what is my attribute name is region okay madam this is a region attribute so here just this is like a pick list okay so this is like a simple pick list so here what i have to do is here i have some values called um, example region values are there uh, us or uk or japan something like example like this okay these are the actions so what is my requirement is now just i want to show attribute not attribute we can add in the bundle level also or you can use the same attribute in the feature level also you can use it wherever you want you can place these attributes okay so what is the benefit of this attribute why you are adding attribute in a bundle product why i am taking a region is so whenever i'm selecting region equal to us so i want to filter the options in this bundle i want to show only us, uh, US related products, products options okay this is example i am saying it professional bag bundle for example you are creating one more uh, bundle product called institute right madam right mm -hmm. in the institute what you can create one attribute called uh, course uh, that is attribute here you can add a uh, example in the java sfdc dot net example so what this attribute is whenever you in a course is you are setting java i want to show java project java course java related material here if i select sfdc i want to show sfdc related projects uh, materials and the options and all that so if you want to do that type of like a filtering like uh, you can use the attributes following what i'm saying what is the attribute it will do yes okay but uh, the filter filtering we can do second second later Sir, we'll try to do. you said that sir in search filter we can uh, give like product code if we give mouse all the whatever we give the product code only that products will be display here right sir Correct, so if you right. use that what is the need of this one sir so that is you are doing in a offer all the products where you are doing this one region now these attributes for specific so bundle 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 products madam so previously where you okay. added bundle, that uh, add software functionality madam hmm? in custom actions custom actions correct where we added that one for main main page in the main page this is all products okay. page okay here okay. So this is all all product page right madam here you can add products it will work for all the products either it is a subscription product okay. standalone product okay. bundle product usage for whatever it may be that filter okay i got it okay. now where you are doing is we are doing only in a particular bundle okay. it professional pack or uh, institute or car any bundle you can take for that bundle okay. inside options you want to filter based on the some region not only filtering whatever the region you are selecting right madam that region value also you can pass to the code line fields understand madam okay Sales person yes. selected region equal to EMEA. It is showing EMEA products and it is saving all the EMEA value in the code line also. Understood, Bruno? What I'm saying? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So, first we'll do all these things secondary. First, we'll try to add an attribute. What is the attribute I'll take is 
I'll take attribute name equal to region. I'll add a US and simple UK. Okay, you can add more also. So if you want to add this attribute if our IT professional pack, what is the first step you have to do is first step one. We need to create same field in product option object because based on this only we need to filter right whatever the these uh, you want to use right attribute that attribute you want to create in a first user in the product option object go to the product option object <clears throat> what is the field madam we need to create new field which field you want to use Product option. Product option. I'll take a list. List. Next. What is the name I want to give? I want to give a region. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can give me more, more, more. What now? So if you want to create any attribute, same steps we have to follow. Okay, I have created a one field which I want to use in my bundle product. Okay, so what is the field? Just copy that API name. Whatever the field you have created, just copy that field API name. Okay, man. So once you created a field in the option object, so we need to add this. We need to add this API name in configuration attribute object. Uh, in the configuration attribute object, there is a one field called, I think, target field something. I just give this the field name configuration attributes object, CPQ object. So there is some field called target or something yeah target field so here we need to include that api name whatever the field you have created so in which object configuration attribute object we need to add this api name in configuration attribute object in which field sir in target field okay go to this object configuration object so these steps just to add a, your attribute in the bundle level madam why all these steps madam why we are doing all these steps just to, to add your attribute for your bundle level so fields and relationships what is the field name madam target field so here you need to add your what is the field name sir it's easier. So uh, I want to add in both the record types. Click on Second step also done. Next thing we need to create configuration attribute record. What we want to do? Configuration attribute record and there only we can specify in the attribute record only we can specify where you want to use this region like in which bundle in which future you want to use you can specify everything there okay so now go to the configuration attribute just refresh the page <clears throat> so what is the attribute name i want to give is region attribute I want to give a row order is one, column order is one. So what is the meaning of row order one, column order one is? So this is first row example. If we take a bundle product. So here, this is a row one, row two, row three sequence. In a single row, 
you can add a maximum three columns. In a single row, you can add a maximum three columns. You can see one, two, three. So if you put a one, that region will display left side. If you put a two, the region will display middle. If you put three, that will display right side like this. Okay, I'll show you. I'm giving now row order is one and column order is one. Where it will display now? Side, left side. Left side. The first column. In which bundle you want to use this attribute? IT. Or, or uh, <coughs> IT professional pack. That product we have to select here. So which, which attribute you want to use? Regions. Yeah. So if you want to make it required, it is mandatory you want to make it, you can make it. Okay, auto select, it's not required now. Just give a position top or bottom. I'll go with the top only now. Okay. We'll discuss all these fields in uh, rules, product rules and all. Okay. Now just click a step. What I'm doing, doing is attribute name, row order, column order, top, and which attribute I want to display in which bundle. Okay. I'm setting any feature here. No, it is blank now. Click a save. So it is blank. Then what will happen? It will display top of the page. Why? Because feature is blank. Feature is blank. Then at the attribute will display in our top of the page. Refresh to your page. Okay. And products. IT professional pack. Click select. Can you see your attribute here? Left side. Why it is coming left side, madam? We gave one. Sir. Because we have selected the column order is one. Column order is one. If I make it two, where will it come? <laughs> Center. 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 So you can create multiple uh, rows and multiple attributes per bundle. In the real time, maybe you can use four or five attributes in a single app. Uh, bundle also okay so that's why we should specify in which row where you want to display your attribute now you can see it in a middle right man like this so yes. even i want to use this one in a not bundle level i want to use this only for the printing level or like a peripherals level then what i can do madam I want to use that to only for field name. Feature name is what, madam? Reference. reference. So then, where that attribute will display now? Top Near or reference. feature beside, level? Beside. Beside. Where beside? Right on top of peripherals. Beside peripherals. Peripherals. Exactly. In the peripheral middle. Because I'm giving a two, two number. Two. Right, Mena? Yes. Right? So that you can control like, where you want to use feature level or uh, bundle level, whatever it may be. We'll see now. This one uh, we'll see later. Apply immediately. What is it? This is very important field. We'll discuss later. <coughs> okay. So like this, we can add a attribute to the your page. Okay, Mena. <coughs> So now if I'm selecting US, anything is happening, madam, here? No, sir. Nothing is happening, right, madam? So we have just added yes. attribute for your bundle product only. So we are not doing any further steps like a rules we have to do. Okay. That is nothing but uh, if you want to filter based on this attribute, so we should use a product rules, madam. Okay. That is uh, another concept. Okay. By using combination of attribute and product rules, we can filter the uh, options in the bundle level here, based on the both combination. Okay. That we'll discuss in the uh, next class. Yeah. This shall make it this. Okay. Great. Okay.